Hey, what's going on guys? I'm back again with another debate video. So as you guys can see, I'm debating the popular vegan YouTuber Ask Yourself in his Discord. And to give a little context to what exactly this debate was, I was inside of uh, one of his voice calls within his server, and uh, I was just joking around with some of my friends, and uh, Ask Yourself actually came into the call and like, basically like ambushed me and uh i like joined call with some of the people in the server and i was just saying uh oh i'm the the best debater ever you know and, and uh, ask yourself decided to take that seriously and uh, he challenged me to debate on that topic so when he came in you know he basically told me that uh Oh, well, if you're uh, the, the best debater ever, then that means you could put up a defense for any argument, right? And I was like, yeah, I can argue for anything. So basically after that, he asked me to defend or put up an argument for square circles being logically possible. I'm not really going to go into it any further than that. I'm just going to let the recording play out in its entirety. Make sure to stay till the end of the video because I'm going to analyze and give a breakdown of what happened within the debate. The standard definition that a philosopher or a logician would use for logically possible is that it doesn't entail a contradiction. Okay, well, I wasn't talking about logic possibility, then I was just talking about okay. logical possibility. No, no, that, that's fine. So to be clear, you're not willing to defend any position. Well, that, I can defend that position. You don't have to argue from logical possibility. Okay. And I don't sure, know why sure, I... Sure. Wait, wait, no, no, but, but wait, you just said... Just said I can defend any position, but you don't have to argue from logical possibility. The position we're talking about is the position that it's logically possible that there are square circles. Well, me, I could defend the position that it, you argued just now that it was logically I would, possible. I would love I could argue that it was no, possible, no, which was the initial thing. I no, could wait, argue. That. Wait a second. Yeah, what is what the argument talking about? Square circles. What is the argument that square circles are logically possible? Wait, square cir circles are logically possible. Okay, hold on. Let me let me put it this way. So okay, do you know but don't change the topic. <laughs> I do know what fuzzy logic is. Okay, do you know? Um, you know the uh, unless it, unless you're going to don't utilize the law of wait, contradiction. Wait, wait a second. When we're talking about logical possibility, we're talking about something that doesn't entail a contradiction. Are you suggesting well, the, oh, but you, utilizing fuzzy yeah. logic, which is a logical system and things like that, right? Like other systems that don't utilize the law of non-contradiction or law of excluded middle, could they not contain? Um, certain certain things that hold contradictions yet also don't utilize um, or you st still yet utilize systems of logic? Whether a... Wait, I don't even understand what you just asked there. Sorry. What? You said it's not logically possible, but I can utilize yeah. a logic system with with and a contradiction simultaneously. It is possible. Fuzzy logic. Yeah. yeah a pair, a pair, wait, wait, wait. Fuzzy logic doesn't necessarily... Wait, the fuzzy well, logic doesn't necessarily... Logic. One, 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 one second. Yeah. One second. Fuzzy logic doesn't necessarily allow for contradiction. Paraconsistent logic does, though. Yeah, um, it, but it but when we're talking about logical possibility, we're talking about whether something entails a contradiction or not. So the question is, do you Where think you that it's logical? It's just a standard definition. That's how I mean the term. It doesn't entail contradiction. So like the conclusion yeah. itself isn't contradictory. What do you mean the conclusion? Just an entail. We're talking about whether a conclusion or whether a contradiction is entailed. What? A conclusion, yeah, a conclusion, if, if a some, conclusion if is some, an intent. If some state of affairs entails a contradiction, then it's not logically. That's just a standard well, understanding of logical I'm sorry. possibility. I didn't hear what you said again. So what I ask is if you have an argument that square circles are logically possible. Yeah, you, you did not ask that a minute ago, yeah. Right. Do you? logically possible well i mean if you're arguing what logic is I all logic all, wait, I like you can use a system of logic that allows for contradictions right you can do that pair of logic yeah 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 we're is not best, talking about whether the, your best? We're not, look, um, one, one second one second stop please we're talking about we're not talking about whether you can represent a contradiction in a formal language and not get an explosion right that's a separate topic we're talking about mm -hmm. whether it's logically possible to have a square circle that means for a square circle to not entail a contradiction we're not talking about if a contradiction can exist in the world that's okay called so that. you're arguing what oh, one, one second one second please 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 is, please is not necessary you're please, asking please please hello one second we're not talking about whether a contradiction can exist, whether there are true contradictions, right? That's dialetheism. We're not talking about whether a contradiction can be represented in a formal system without getting explosion. That's what we're talking about paraconsistency. What we're talking about is can you show me that a square circle doesn't entail a contradiction? We're just talking about whether it okay. entails yeah. a contradiction. Yeah, so 
a square Not circle is whether the contradiction can be represented. Yeah, I get, you, I get what you're saying. Now you're you asking me whether it's possible for me to demonstrate that a square circle is not necessarily a contradiction, right? Yeah, I'm asking, when I ask you, can you give me an argument that a square circle is logically possible? Yeah, I'm asking for you to show that a square circle doesn't entail a contradiction. Okay. And it's just, the, one second, the reason that I ask you to defend it is just that it's indefensible unless you want to try to say, like, well, being a circle doesn't entail not being a square or something like that. What? Okay. <laughs> um... Do you just try, try to show, do you think that you can show that a contradiction is not entailed by a square circle. I mean, I, I think it is possible to do so, yes. Okay, so yeah, go for it. Well, I, I don't necessarily have to hold, like, um, I, I may not have yet the ability to derive such a way to do so, but there is the possibility <laughs> that I will gain when that you, ability, right? No, when, when, you, when you say there's the possibility, that's the claim that it doesn't entail a contradiction, right? That's what I'm asking you to show. When you no, say it doesn't. What do you mean by that? No, you can totally, you, you can, can totally it. argue from epistemic humility and argue outside of po or outside of our own system. You know, like the a possibility. Wait, that one second. Of our can we can we slow history. down? Can we can hold we on, please? Hold on, slow let me down. finish. I haven't even got to finish you're just, my proposition. You're, fil yet. you're filibustering though. No, I'm not addressing. You're not addressing, you're not addressing what I'm. Can I can about. I actually like finish my claim, please? Can can you tell me what I want addressed? So I'm sure that okay, you're talking well, about what I'm first. talking about. Let me finish this first, okay, and then you're if it's not your answer. Okay, just I, will, I will I will let you part. filibuster because you came here with Clyde, but you're filibustering. Okay. Well, the problem is you're not even letting me finish. So the when you're not letting me finish, we have no ability to reach synthesis. So you have no idea what I'm going to say next. You have no way to predict that. So you not letting me that's finish will get. That's there. why I asked you to explain okay. what I'm asking you, so that I know what you're saying is even an attempt to address. Well, it. you have no idea if it will or won't address it until I finish. So you might as well just let it go because you'll be able to address it anyway at the end. It sure sounds like a filibuster. You go ahead though. Okay. So what you were saying is, it, is it possible to determine that a square circle doesn't necessarily entail a contradiction <laughs> no wait no wait a second what i asked is can you show can you give an argument that a square circle doesn't entail a contradiction okay that can i give an argument that a square circle doesn't entail yeah, you, you said you can argue for any position Right. Well, I have the capability. I, I don't necessarily have the capability to do so, but there is the possibility I can. Like okay. you were arguing that it was undefendable <laughs> well, well, earlier, and I'm not arguing. <laughs> and I'm arguing that it is defendable, which is the problem I yeah, drew. But, but one second. But what I'm asking you is, you said that you can give an argument, right? I'm asking. Yeah. yeah so can you actually show that a square circle is logically possible? Okay, well, I could give an argument for it, but it, it, could, it doesn't matter if it's wrong or it could be d dismissed even. But regardless, me giving okay. an argument is relevant. Yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah now, you can. One, one hold second, hold on, one hold second. On, hold on, hold on, no, stop. No, no, no. You're I'm going to have to use. Don't make me use priority. Okay, I'm going to have to use priority. I'm just going to use priority push to talk. Okay. So what I, what I asked you is can you show that a square circle is logically possible, right? I want you to show me that that doesn't entail a contradiction. Now, either you're able to do that or you're not. So which is it? Okay, so I, I can put up an argument. You were asking me to defend it, right? If I can put up an argument, I told you I could put up an argument for anything. And then you were like, all right, put up an argument for it. I could literally say um, a circle has edges or whatever. I could say whatever I wanted, right? Like um, square circle llama, right? Like, and that would be an argument. It doesn't matter if it's wrong. That would square be an argument. Square circle llama is not an argument. Yeah, it is. Even if it's invalid or the premises don't match the conclusion, it is still an argument. No, that, that, does, that doesn't even qualify as an argument. That's not even pro that proposition. Argument? That wasn't even proposition. Well, okay, what, what is a proposition? A statement capable of having truth value. Do you think okay, that is, that is a not, proposition? Is that statement not capable of having truth value? No, it's not a proposition. Yes, it is. Not. I said a square circle is a llama. No, I heard square circle llama. No, I heard square circle equals llama. Okay, well, if we heard wrong, that's fine. Square circle okay, equals llama. So Wait, stop. That's a proposition. It's not an argument. So you've graduated from not even a proposition to a proposition. Still not an argument. Hold on one second. I got a text. Okay. Right so for everyone here, what we're asking for is an argument that shows that a square circle isn't a contradiction, right? Now, he seems to be replying by saying, 
it's possible that I can give an argument. But all he's doing when he does that is he's creating an infinite regress, right? Because he's saying it's logically possible that square circles are logically possible. And if I ask him to give an argument that it's logically possible that square circles are logically possible, he'll say it's logically possible that square that it's logically possible that square circles are logically. So that all you're doing is giving an infinite regress. And unless someone thinks that an infinite regress is some kind of persuasive reasoning, you haven't given me any fucking reason to think a square circle is logically possible. So there, there is, of course, the weasel pathway of saying I can give an unsound argument. Yeah, that's what I was saying um, about an unsound, an invalid argument, whatever I want to give. I could give an argument for it. I said I could give an argument for anything, in which you initially drew problems with when you said I... One second. When you use the word sound... Oh my god, dude. Let me finish my claim. I'm I'm tired of you interrupting me. Let me go. You said something false. It wasn't an argument. Yeah, so I just want to interject here again, just to point out that uh, Isaac, or Ask Yourself, is also now filibustering, something he called me out for earlier. He already accepted that I could give an unsound argument for basically anything, right? He already accepted that, and telling him, yeah, I was going to do that, and then he just randomly goes off and starts saying, like, oh, but you didn't do that, you only gave me what wasn't even a proposition and then we converted it to a proposition like basically um what filibustering is is just kind of like prolonging um in, at least in this context the debate right it's prolonging it needlessly um and that is exactly what ask yourself is doing here so i just want to call out some hypocrisy there Right. It, it doesn't just matter. Pro- it wasn't even a problem. I don't, I don't even think it's it was- still an argument. I can make a proper argument. An argument doesn't argument. have falseness. Isn't a property of arguments. Arguments have validity. You can have a false sound. argument. Yes. False applies to propositions, not arguments. Okay. The definition of argument: um, yeah. a a change of diverge, diverging or opposite views. Right. No. In logic, an argument okay. is a set of premises and a conclusion. Yeah, you have a set of premises, and I said you could formulate an argument off of um, square circles. I could give you an argument that was invalid. I could give you an argument that was insound. Noodles, I don't. I'm not trying to. I don't want to just dunk on you for not knowing the basic logic thing. But you're just like you're messing up some of the properties here. Okay, so okay, propositions. I don't care about noodles, your definition. I'm gonna one second. Yeah. Okay, but it's not my definition. Okay, this is a, like actual formal logic. This is what you'd learn in a logic course. We went and learned propositional logic, which, by the way, you can learn from the bot in this server or first order logic. And you're just making certain errors in like, you're you're doing things like you're saying arguments have features like truth or falseness. They don't, right? Arguments have validity or soundness. It's propositions that have features like truth or falseness, right? And you earlier said proposition a proposition would have a feature of validity or soundness. They don't, right? Those are all category errors. And the only reason you're making those errors is because you don't like know sort of basic stuff about logic, right? So just, I'm not, not trying to be a dick, but that's kind of important, right? So validity and soundness are properties of arguments. Truth and falsity, that's not a property of an argument. Truth and falsity, that's properties of propositions, right? And validity and soundness are not properties of propositions. Now, this is what I want to say to you about the square circle, okay? I've asked you to give an argument that shows that a square circle is logically possible. Now, if you want to take the weasel pathway and just say, okay, well, I can give an unsound argument, then fine, you can win on a technicality. But if you think that you can give any kind of persuasive argument, which I think was the obvious connotation when you're saying I can argue for anything, right? I don't think you're sitting there going, I can technically give an unsound argument for anything. I think you were saying you think you can do a good job of arguing for anything, right? Then I want some kind of set of premises and conclusion, that's what an argument is, (laughs) that shows that a square circle is not a contradiction, right? Now, if your only response to that is to say, it's logically possible that I can give an argument that a square circle is logically possible. All you're doing is creating an infinite regress. You're saying it's possible that I can, you're saying it's possible that square circles are possible. If I ask for an argument for that, you'll just have to say it's possible that it's possible that square circles are possible. All you're doing is creating an infinite regress. And I don't think anyone thinks that an infinite regress is, (laughs) it's not a persuasive argument, obviously. So, Can you give a persuasive argument? You don't have to address the little corrections about logic. Those are just things for you to know. Okay. Well, I never claimed to give a uh, that I was going to give a persuasive argument. I just said I could give a argument. Okay. So you you just want to just to be clear. Yeah. Yeah. So you just want to take just the weasel pathway of I can just give an. I wasn't the weasel path. It was my claim, and you drew issue with it, so it's your fault. Okay. So I don't care. All right. No, no, no. That's fine. If you want to win on a technicality and say uh, like, (laughs) yeah, if you if you just want to say. I can give an unsound argument, which for anyone yeah. who doesn't like know what that means. Well, that's that what means, I was arguing. And I know you tried to build a narrative that, that like argument, you were. That means an argument that either has at least one false premise 
or has an invalid form, right? Which basically means a bad argument. Unsound is bad in logic. Yeah, so if you guys remember my first interjection, I specifically pointed out how, like, he interrupted me when I was trying to change the topic from how I can create an argument from anything to I believe it's possible to demonstrate that a square circle is within logical possibility, right? Um, so I gave him the opportunity to shift the debate onto a more defendable stance in his position, because obviously any person can make an unsound argument for something, right? But yeah, that ended up being his downfall because he does directly admit that you can create an unsound argument for anything, and I told him I could, so he lost the entire debate just on that alone. He tried to like build this narrative that I was somehow like being a weasel for taking that route, but that's not a weasel right, like I never said that I can technically make an argument for anything, right? I never said that. I said I could make an argument for anything, he still bit down on it, and he, he lost. Like that's all there was to it. There is no win by technicality, what does that even mean? He's just setting some kind of arbitrary standard for what's technical? Or I don't really understand that. But yeah, that was basically the debate, um, there's a little bit more in the clip after this, but it's just kind of us talking about about prop logic and stuff like that so um, if you join the video go ahead and like and subscribe follow my Twitter join my discord as well I'm gonna put that down in the description and if you'd like to see more debates like this let me know in the comments see ya